The wider Anglosphere spreads out much further than just the Kansas nations and the USA, but into many other nations that share common values, traditions, cultures, and a general sense of the world. These brethren Anglosphere nations can be most easily found within the Commonwealth of Nations. Unlike other former colonial powers, the British and Portuguese are unique in maintaining good relationships with their former colonies. Former British territories were not treated as harshly as those from other colonial powers, and now former British colonies are seen as some of the better governed nations in the world, such as India for example, which is the world's largest democracy. Of course there was some mistreatment, as with every empire and nation's history, but when it did happen it was wildly discouraged and looked down upon by contemporary figures in Parliament and the elites. During World War II, for example, many of these nations would support the Empire, voluntarily. They truly saw themselves as British and fought with as much courage and bravery as anyone else for their King and Empire. These ties and memories still hold on, either explicitly or subtly, in many of these nations' cultures. They are far from being all anti-British and anti-English, as some would have you believe. The former Spanish, French and Dutch colonies, for example, have hugely negative relationships with their former overlords, while the British colonies and the UK decided to create the Commonwealth of Nations to peacefully break up the empire and continue positive relationships, with of course many humps in the road. Nations like Malta, Jamaica, India and South Africa are just a few examples of the huge amount of common ground shared across the globe. There are cultural differences, but these are not necessarily a bad thing. You'll find that most Anglophobes focus only on the negative aspects of empire. But it's important to think critically and to understand the nuances that there were both good and bad things within the British Empire. Hey, let us fight They take everything we have, and not just from us, from our fathers, and from our fathers' fathers. And from our fathers' fathers' fathers. Yeah. And from our fathers' 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 fathers. Yours, don't leave the point. And what have they ever given us in return? The aqueduct? Once the Commonwealth was created, the trade relationships blossomed each year until Britain decided to sever its ties and to join the European single market. Since then, the Commonwealth of Nations have limbered on in a sort of diplomatic bond and it was no longer able to do its intended purpose. Now, since the UK has left the EU again, the Commonwealth could if the UK had the brains and political competence, reforge its former alliances. Since Brexit, the Commonwealth has grown in size, with former French colonies such as Togo joining to subvert the French corruption within their nation. And yes, the French do still maintain some colonies in the modern day. The Commonwealth could bolster Anglosphere ideas better than anything else, and could act as a huge positive force in the world. If the Commonwealth were to come together, it would be a new world superpower, rivaling China and the USA in terms of landmass, population, economy and even military power. The Commonwealth of Nations is still heavily influenced by British culture, which still survives in small nuggets all over the world and is very dominant online. And you would be mistaken if you think that the Commonwealth is just the British Empire in disguise. Some colonies have been kicked out of the Commonwealth, and some member states were never even part of the empire. What the Commonwealth really is, is the alignment of shared history, culture and Western ideals. But will the Commonwealth ever put its head above the parapet and become a defender of common law, liberty and free trade? Or will it just remain a weak fragment of the past? Be sure to check out my other channel, History Sticks, for the complete, longer and comprehensive video.